So I showed you the video where I replaced the tail light with these uh, LEDs here and so what I did was I moved the old tail light up here so I could use it to remind me of my blinkers and I hooked them up and here's what they look like. Okay. Oh, that's I got them backwards, but anyway, so I can see instead of <laughs> just these little lights, but well I decided that to kind of keep on the theme of signaling me when the the, the signals are on to also <laughs> indicate the neutral gear. So I changed the red LEDs that were in the middle to green LEDs. So yeah, that's that's definitely <laughs> That's, that is bright as hell. That's definitely going to remind me that, yep, I am in neutral. So, right now I've just got it hooked up to the running lights. And what I'm going to do is I've got to hook it up to the wire that is hooked up to the neutral switch indicator or neutral gear, gear indicator. And that involves taking the gas tank off and all that so let me do that and I'll come back and I'll show you that it works all right well I, since I figured that the one LED was plenty bright enough I took all the LEDs except one out and I had to do some modifications because the way the, the neutral sensor light is it's got its own positive and negative, so I had to um, desolder some stuff in the back and uh, use some auxiliary wires to wire it up. But there it is. That sucker is bright. So let me push the gear. So here's the uh, the OEM light. So as I push down on the gear uh, lever, it goes out of neutral. And there you have it. The light is off pops back into gear, lights on. So now I have a very bright <laughs> neutral indicator that I can even see in the daytime. But uh, just a little bit of a pro tip. This is wire from a garage door opener that I didn't need to use. So if you see this in like a, uh, what is it, uh, Habitat for Humanity store, Pick this up. These are this is so handy. What I a lot of the wiring I redid on this bike, I used this stuff here. And I made me a wiring harness right there out of that stuff. So yeah, good stuff. The other thing I had to do <laughs> on this light uh, when I first started soldering the new LEDs was that the the circuit board was so cheap, I'll roll in the footage here, that when I went to desolder and resolder the new lights, LEDs in there, the, the circuit board um, did not have enough solder or didn't have enough metal. It was so thin that when I desoldered the old LEDs, they melted away. So I had to make jumpers to the LEDs to make them work. But turns out I didn't need them anyway so because I had to make a jumper using uh, different lights but anyway here it is again that's my neutral I take it out of neutral and left turn signal see there right turn signal so I don't know why <laughs> anybody would not want especially on motorcycles a brighter turn signal indicator uh, especially on motorcycles because it's easy to forget anyway that is that mod for this uh, for this bike uh, for the turn signal and the neutral indicator later